Hey, what is happening guys? Rules for Rebels here. In today's video, we're going to be talking about IFTTT.com. That stands for If This, Then That. And what it is, it's a social media um, auto posting software or automation software, I guess we should call it. And you can create recipes such as when I make a YouTube video, I automatically want a tweet to go out that shares that video. So I've mentioned it in passing. A lot of you guys have been asking me a lot more about it. Uh, so that's what we're talking about today. Before we get into that, I just wanted to take a quick second to talk about the sponsor of today's video, uh, Fit and Fresh. So they were nice enough to send me out uh, one of their Men at Work uh, lunch packs here. Uh, if any of you guys want to check it out, I will link to it in the description box below. Uh, this stuff is all BPA free. It's dishwasher safe. It's microwavable safe. And it kind of ties into something that I kind of believe in, which is kind of being smart with your money, being frugal with your money. Um, I've, I may have mentioned in passing that I'm, uh, I actually just bought a house. I'm going to be moving in about a month from now. Uh, my expenses are going to go up a little bit, so I've been looking at ways to cut back and save some money. So I went over my credit card bills, canceled like some magazine subscriptions I don't use anymore. And I also use Mint.com, which is like a cool site that helps you like makes little like charts and graphs and shows you, uh, you know, how much you're spending is going on meals and entertainment. How much are you spending on your car insurance? How much are you spending on utilities? And basically you connect your credit cards, your bank account, your investment accounts up to it. And it just kind of gives you a fuller picture of what you're spending your money on. And I've noticed, uh, like I said, aside from like canceling some magazine subscriptions that I don't, I don't use and some programs that I've subscribed to that I don't use, two of my biggest money wasters were A, um, buying lunch, you know, while I'm at work as opposed to bringing it from home. And two, uh, coffee in the morning. Dunkin' Donuts is like my morning vice. But uh, this stuff is really cool. Uh, me and my business partner, we got a... Uh, mini fridge, a coffee maker, and a microwave in our office. So I now have no excuse not to bring my uh, my food to work. And I've been doing it for the past couple weeks. It's worked out really nicely. And this is kind of cool. I can put my leftovers in there. Uh, I actually just had to finish having some lasagna. So I'll probably throw that in there for tomorrow. A sandwich, whatever else. You got an ice pack here. Uh, they have two small containers for salads, hummus, which I'm a huge fan of, uh, yogurt. Um, and they were, also, uh, they were also kind enough to include some of their portion control containers. So. Uh, these are kind of neat. They uh, they have ice packs within them, uh, so it'll keep my stuff cold while I am at work. So uh, super excited about that. Just wanted to thank Fit and Fresh. Bringing your lunch to work is not only frugal, but it is healthier, and it could save you over $1,300 a year. So I don't know, like I said, if you've noticed, I've been doing a lot more videos on like personal finance and stuff, and I'm trying to be smarter with my money, so I will try to share those tips with you, and maybe we'll feature some of that stuff in a new video. But uh, let's get right into this. You are about to see an over-the-shoulder video, a screencast. Um, basically, I'm going to show you guys how to connect your different social media channels to IFTTT. I'm also going to be showing you guys how to um, actually create the recipes. So again, you can hook it up to WordPress, um, Blogger, Tumblr, uh, Pinterest. They're not connected to Instagram. Um, what did I say? Blogger, StumbleUpon, Dig. Twitter. So you can create all these different chains of recipes. When I make a YouTube video, I automatically want that video shared on Tumblr. When I make a YouTube video, I automatically want it tweeted. When I make a YouTube video, I automatically want a blogger post created with that video embedded. And then when I make a, a blogger video, I automatically want that shared on Twitter. So you have all these big links and chains of all these social media activities. So it's going to help you create more backlinks. And it's also going to help you get, you know, just get more social shares, get your stuff out there, get more views and get more traffic. So uh, a lot of you guys have been asking for this. Here it is. And uh, check out later in this week, we're going to do some videos talking a little bit more about um, uh, Hootsuite, another social media uh, auto posting software, uh, Twuffer and some others as well. So if you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you are not subscribed, smash that subscribe button below the video. And if you guys got any questions or comments, as always, leave them below. I will respond. Uh, thanks for watching. Let's get right into this, guys. Hey, what's up, YouTube? What is happening, guys? It's Rules for Rebels, and today's video, we are going to be discussing IFTTT.com. And what this site is, it's uh, it stands for If This, Then That. So basically, it's a social media automation tool. It allows you to connect your social media accounts to uh, the website or software, if you want to call it that, and uh, then you're able to create recipes, and the recipes could be things like anytime I post a new video to YouTube, I would like my Twitter account to automatically tweet out a tweet promoting that YouTube video. Uh, I could do something like anytime I create a new YouTube video and post it live on YouTube, uh, my uh, dot blogspot blogger uh, blog or website automatically posts a 
uh, blog post featuring that, uh, that in, uh, video embedded. Uh, it could be something like any time I make a new blog post that has a picture in it, that picture automatically gets shared on Pinterest. So you can kind of see how it automates a lot of social media activities. Think about if every time I made a YouTube video, I had to like be proactive and I had to go log into Twitter. Hey guys, check out my new video. Then I had to go log into Pinterest. Hey guys, check out my new video. Then I had to go share it on Reddit. Whereas with this tool in, you know, sit down, it takes you two minutes. <clears throat> you hook up your social media accounts. Uh, you set your recipes and forever on moving forward, uh, all these social media shares and notifications and things like that are gonna be automatically handled. Now there's a bunch of other uses. You can set it to like, change your Twitter profile photo. You can hook it up to like different radio stations you listen to online and apps and all types of other stuff. But for me, this is mainly a social media automation tool. So I'll uh, use this for your affiliate, affiliate marketing. If you sell products, use this to promote um, articles and posts and things you're doing in relation to your product. Uh, and in today's video, I'm basically gonna be showing you how to connect your social media accounts to IFTTT, uh, as well as how to create recipes. And I'll walk you through attaching a a uh, couple accounts to this program, as well as walk you through some different recipes. Uh, I would encourage you guys to explore on your own and find your own recipes as well, uh, but I'll walk you through some of the basic stuff. So without further ado, uh, let's get right into this, guys. Okay, guys, so first, let's show you how to create a recipe. So I'm logged into IFTTT. If you don't have a, already have an account, go create one, but you're going to log in. Uh, at the beginning, your account's not going to have anything. So what you're going to want to do is go to Channels. And we can either search through, I'll let you guys kind of take a look. Some of them are like news related, so you can sign yourself up to get like email news articles or RSS feeds. I have no idea what all this appliance stuff is. Blogging, we got Blogger, Medium, Tumblr, Weebly, WordPress. I would suggest for every affiliate marketing site, for every blog, for every niche that you're involved with, set up a blog on every one of these platforms. Set up a social media account on every one of these platforms. Uh, for bookmarking, you know, we have Bitly, Pocket, Pinboard, a bunch of other sites. Uh, business tools, we got MailChimp, you can hook it up to your MailChimp account, Workflow, Concur, uh, which is actually a payroll company, uh, Salesforce, uh, calendars and scheduling, clocks and displays, cloud storage, communication, they kind of got this organized, nice contacts, um, education, email, where's all the social media accounts? What we're most interested in, oh, they got Gumroad, so you can hook your Gumroad up, account up, that's pretty cool. Uh, gardening, journalism, lighted, a lot of stuff to scroll through. There's actually, you know what we're going to do? Uh, I just wanted to scroll through and give you guys an idea. Okay, so here you got YouTube and stuff like that. But typically to find stuff, I'll just do a search here. So I'm going to type in YouTube. I actually have been using this for about a year or two, but I went and disconnected all my connected accounts just so I can show you guys how to do this. So right now I'm already logged into YouTube. If I go to YouTube.com, uh, you guys can see I'm already logged into my account. If you're not logged into your account, it will prompt you to log in. Uh, but just for... Uh, you know, convenient, convenience sake. I would log into all your all of your accounts uh, before you sit down to connect everything. So all I'm going to do is click this connect button, and it's gonna because I'm logged in, it's going to ask me to choose. So I have a Gmail or a uh, what do you call it, a Google Plus account and a uh, actual YouTube account. So we're going to click that one, which is my YouTube account. Uh, we're going to give them the permission to have offline access. Okay, so we give them permission for offline access, and as you can see, this is all set up. So we really don't need to mess with permissions or settings. All this stuff's taken care of. We're going to go back to channels. <laughs> and next, let's do Twitter. So we'll hit Twitter there. Twitter. Here we are. And again, I'm already logged into my Twitter account, so all we're going to have to do is click Connect. We're going to authorize the app. My Twitter account is now connected. We'll do one more before we move on to the recipes. So lastly, we're gonna do Blogger. Um, I would suggest going down the line and doing everything. You can do Facebook, you can do your personal Facebook profile. You can do specific Facebook groups. I believe you can even do Facebook pages. Um, you can do Pinterest. Uh, I don't believe they have Instagram. Uh, Stumble upon, you know, there's a lot of different ones you can do. So uh, I have a number of different blogs. We're gonna select uh, Rules for Rebels as a blog that we're gonna auto post to. And uh, I'll show you guys real quick. Uh, rules for rebels.blogspot.com. And this is just a blogger site that I run. Um, 
you know, it auto posts. I'm actually auto posting all my videos. So anytime I post a video to YouTube, it automatically gets posted here. I used to do articles. It's been a while since I've written any articles on here. Uh, my new blog, which I've just sat down and started getting accustomed to uh, WordPress a little bit better lately. Uh, and here's my new blog. You kind of see WordPress allows a little bit more customization, uh, is a little bit more professional looking, etc. cetera. But uh, if I wanted to, I could connect that. I haven't connected it yet. So we're gonna go back over here and uh, we're gonna connect Blogger. Again, I'm already logged into my Google, Google account, which means I'm already logged into Blogger. So that's gonna be really quick and easy to connect there. Uh, selected that. Okay, so everything's connected. So we're gonna go over to recipes and we're gonna create a recipe. So uh, there are all different types of combinations of these that we can do, but because I'm most active on YouTube, we're gonna say, okay, so we want, whenever I post a YouTube video, so let's find YouTube, Let's click it, and we can select either any time I like a video, we could select an action to be performed, or in this case, I wanna do any time a new public video is uploaded by me. Uh, we're gonna create a trigger. So the first action is YouTube, right? When I, when I upload a new video on YouTube, that's the if, then I want that to happen. So we're gonna say anytime I post a new video on YouTube, I automatically wanna share it on Twitter. So I can choose to post a tweet, post a tweet with an image. I'm not sure why you would wanna do this, but send a direct message to yourself, update your profile picture, update bio, add user to list. So we're gonna do post a tweet because as soon as I make a video, we want a tweet to go out basically telling, um, you know, anybody who follows me on Twitter, hey, check out this new YouTube video I made. Now, if I wanted to, I could add a hashtag like entrepreneur and every tweet's gonna have that. Uh, also, you can create a, uh, basically a number of ingredients, which could be created at title, description, like what do I want that tweet to read? The description, the URL, et cetera. So I'm just gonna leave it like that because they already have title and URL and we're gonna create that action. Um, so if a new public video is uploaded, then it's gonna post a tweet to my Twitter account, Rules for Rebels. And the last step here is just gonna be to create the recipe. Now, if there's any errors or anything like that, it'll tell you, but it shows right here, this recipe is created. Now, if down the road I ever wanna turn this recipe off, um, I again, I just go to my recipes um, and I select that I want, um, wanna turn the recipe off. Um, I can check the recipe to make sure it's working. I can review what the recipe is and I can also edit that recipe. So let's create another recipe and we'll do another YouTube one. So if, this time we're gonna say, if I like a video on YouTube, then I want to send out a tweet about that as well. Now, the one thing you wanna be careful about, if you're somebody who like watches YouTube all day and is like every five seconds liking a video, you may not wanna do this because you're gonna bombard your Twitter followers with like, hey, check out this video and this video and this video and this video. Uh, but assuming you just like videos selectively, that's not a bad recipe to have. And it just kind of keeps some engagement on your Twitter account, suggest some videos you like, et cetera. Uh, we'll do a couple more. So if we'll do YouTube again, If I upload a new video, and we're gonna do this one to Blogger. If I upload a new video, I want that new video to be shared on Blogger, um, and I wanna create a post. And the post uh, will contain the title of the YouTube video. Uh, the body will be the embed code. So for those of you guys who aren't familiar, if you've ever seen like a YouTube video embedded into somebody's blog or as a part of their page, that's basically what, what's happening. So again, let's go back to, uh, rules for rebels.blogspot.com. So as you can see here, this video is embedded in the page. This post was automatically created. This post automatically created this one that, you know, basically all these posts are automatically created. Like I said, I used to have some uh, like written articles. Here's when I wrote about how to make Corona chicken. This is an old one with a recipe that I liked, but um, I used to write on this blog. Now it's more auto, auto posted on and just kind of shares my videos. Uh, anyhow, let's go back here. So the body is good. Uh, as far as the separate, these are what the videos are labeled as. So I, I don't want to label it, label it IFTT. Uh, so we're going to delete that one. We'll keep YouTube. Again, we'll do like entrepreneurship because all my videos are pretty much about like entrepreneurship. Um, what else could we do uh, online? So we'll just leave it as that. We're going to create the recipe. Now, anytime that I post a public YouTube video, it's gonna be shared on uh, Blogger. And we'll do one more recipe. And again, I'll normally create these for like every single social media uh, 
site out there that exists and I'll make all these cross recipes going back and forth sharing. But the one last one we'll make is if I make a blog post on Blogger, I want it to be automatically create a replica blog post on Tumblr. We're going to create a text post. And we'll do entrepreneur. Um, but yeah, basically anytime I make a, a blog post, it's automatically going to be shared on Tumblr. So what will be the total chain of this is, okay, I make a YouTube video, that YouTube video is shared on Blogger. As soon as that video is shared on Blogger, it's automatically going to be shared on Twitter. Uh, and also as soon as it's shared on Blogger, it's automatically going to be shared on Tumblr as well. So let's go ahead and create that recipe. And I think you guys kind of get the point here uh, in terms of what we're doing. I'm going to show you one more thing. And uh, the reason for this is some of you guys have been, a lot of you guys have been asking me about IFTTT, uh, which I just showed you. There are other tools out there for auto scheduling social media posts. Uh, a really good one is called Hootsuite. It can auto post or schedule post. I shouldn't say auto post. You can schedule posts to Instagram. You can schedule posts to Twitter. Uh, and there's a lot of other, I think over 36 social media sites you can hook it up to. What this site is, is not necessarily creating automated pro processes. You're actually creating this content yourself, but it's kind of a pain in the butt to like, if you wanna be active on Twitter every day, like every day to have to go on once or twice a day and like think of a, a tweet and post it. If you wanna go ahead and make say like, okay, I wanna make sure I at least make one Twitter post a day. Uh, rather than every day logging on and doing it, what you can do is basically sit down once a month at the beginning of the month or maybe once a week, however often you want to do it, and sit down and make 30 posts. And, you know, it shouldn't take you more than 10, 15 minutes max, uh, but make 30 posts. You have a post for every day of the month, and then they're just automatically going to be shared. So uh, let's say, what, what do we want to say here, guys? Uh, we could do like a quote from an entrepreneur or something like that. Uh, we could do a motivational quote. We could just say, hey, and good morning. Um, we'll say, I'm going to do one in reference to the Amazon canceling, uh, the whole reviews exchange for free products thing, and I'm going to have it posted tomorrow. So, uh, Hey guys, uh, no more incentivized reviews. Basically you can't give away free or discount products in exchange for reviews. Watch my YouTube video to, uh, I can't even say that. Hey guys, uh, free products for reviews has come to an end. Amazon Bandit, what do you think? Uh, so let's say I want to auto tweet this out tomorrow. So I would select Wednesday the 5th. I can select the time. So there are certain times when People are more active on various social media platforms. If you know this, you obviously want to schedule your stuff at those times. So I think normally like 3 in the afternoon is generally pretty good. So we're going to schedule it at 3 p.m. Uh, now let's say on the following day, Thursday, I just want to say like, hey guys, uh, hope you're all working hard today. Have a great day. And this one we're going to schedule for Thursday and we're going to do it at, you know, 2 p.m. And basically, I have all these tweets scheduled. So you can basically sit down at the beginning of the month and schedule out all your tweets. I'll make another video talking about Hootsuite and Twuffer. Twuffer, Twuffer yeah. Uh, but I just wanted to kind of talk about how IFTT, which is sort of like a link chain of social media activities, differs from like a scheduler like Twuffer or Hootsuite. So a lot of you guys have been asking me for this video for a while. Uh, so I, I just sat down tonight and decided to knock it out. Uh, hopefully, you find value in this. If any of you guys have any questions about how this program works, feel free to drop a comment below. I'd be more than happy to uh, answer any questions or if you guys want to see any screencasts showing anything in more detail, I would be happy to do that as well. So give this uh, video a thumbs up if you got something good out of it. Uh, subscribe if you're not subscribed and drop any comments below. Uh, thanks for watching guys. And uh, we got a bunch more great stuff coming out. So stay tuned for, uh, for some more videos later this week. Uh, catch you guys on the next one.